So I lived my life out there in Fish for three, for about three or four years, you know, just wanted to just sort of uh, have my family and just change completely. Um, it wasn't easy because I still felt that I was still maybe out here, I was still struggling and as I was coming out maybe with that drug craving, you know, just always uh, 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 feeling that, um, that uh, uh, um, I still wanted, that, that there was something that still sort of called me to, or how can I say, something that, yeah, I was still craving sometimes, you know, I was still occasionally using uh, 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 drugs again. Once I came out of prison, I stood some time clean, but I went back to that lifestyle. I was gradually going back into it without me realizing and, and, and realizing the, uh, the hurt that I was causing my, my partner then. Um, moved back into London in, in, in about 2004. Um, when I moved back in here, um, I didn't realize again, got back into obviously this, well, I was now living in East London, but I was, down, I was always down this side because my, my partner's parents, they lived down here in Brixton. So again, I was bumping into a lot of people from back of the days, you know, and then obviously uh, with the temptations were coming, back, were put there in front of me, and 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 I was I was gradually feeling that I was I didn't realize that I was going back into my old ways, especially uh, uh, consuming, you know, a lot of a lot of drugs, especially class A, and and then um, and then basically. Um, um, I went back to Colombia with my my partner, my and my children, and and back in 2006, um, my wife uh, basically she she saw she was seeing a pattern again that was starting to live again from before I went to prison. She was seeing that pattern, and 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 she didn't want to be part of that no more, you know. And um, she basically, yeah, uh, we separated, you know. She obviously said, you know, I can't take this no more, you know. Marisa, I can't take this no more, you know. This, this, this is not the life I want to live, you know. But the life I was giving her, I thought it was, I was giving her everything, you know, but uh, I wasn't, you know. And, and obviously she, she, she came back to England and I stayed out there. And I thought, well, that's it, she's left, you know, well, what, what, else, what else can I fight for, you know? And I went back my old ways out there, you know? I went, you know, I had it all there, you know? Everything was there, cheap, had the drugs, the woman, the drugs, the whatever I wanted, you know? So I thought, yeah, I'll just carry on. And I lived that lifestyle again, and I was doing that for about two or three months, and, and then I realized that, um, that, no, this is not what, what, what I want to be living. This is not what I want to go back to being, you know? And... Um, I went and, uh, and I had a friend that I had met and, and she was involved in a church and, and, and she actually invited me to a church out there and, and I went to this church again and, and I had a new re-encounter with God, you know? And in, in, in this re-encounter, you know, I just gave it all to God really because I knew I couldn't do it myself, you know? And, only by the grace of God, you know, and His mercy, really, you know, I gave it all to Him, and and um, and He's given me the strength since then, not to look back, you know, and um, He restored my life again, and 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 my partner, and and my and now we're married, you know, and uh, and and that time that I was there, you know, it was a time where where I felt that, you know. Uh, the Lord was preparing me again for new things, you know. I knew I was going to come back to England and, and, and I was going to be putting back into to, to, to this to environment, to what, what, what I used to be before, but I thought, I'm not going to live this again, you know. I stayed in Colombia for about a year and a half, you know, preparing myself, even though that's where everything started off. But I felt now God was, was, was doing some good in me out there and preparing me. And, and, and that was it, you know, that God really did big, great things out there, you know. And, like I said, my wife went back again the, the last year. We got married, and and when I came back, you know, everything was different, you know. And um, and I can really just 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 say that uh, God has been good, you know. But everything has a purpose, you know. I've seen how He's just worked in my life. How I had to go through so much different circumstances, but I've always seen His 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 His. his uh, his mighty hand over my life, you know, how he's really saved me as well from situations where, where really, where, where, where my life has nearly been taken away. And, and I feel that, um, 
that, that, that he's got bigger things, you know, and that, that when, once we receive, receive him, that he will, he has a purpose, he's a, he has a purpose in our lives, you know, and, and, I, now, and I now feel that, uh, that that purpose is to reach out there, the lost, you know, to, to be light in the midst of the darkness, you know, and, and to be able to go and share to all those people that, uh, that, are, are, that have lived that life, then, and I just thank God so much to, to, for what he's done in my life, really, and, um, and again, and I mean, that's, that's, that's me, really, you know, that's me very briefly going through, 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 through my testimony, and, I, and, and, and again, you know, I mean, all the glory and all the honor to God, you know, for allowing me to be here and to share, and, and then for what he's doing, and, and you know, and now in Jesus, I've, I have freedom and I have liberty, so I thank God for that, and thank you, everybody, for listening.